This, uh, this procedure is called the salt flow. Honestly, it's my favorite, one of my favorite treatments because not only are you getting healing, you're getting relaxation as well. So it <laughs> helps me a lot. So what is a salt flow? It's actually the application of wet salt with friction to a person's skin to make the skin glow and bring fresh supply to the blood, um, to the surface. Um, it improves well-being. It helps, like I said before, it helps with relaxation and stress. If you are stressing out, you can do this to relax your body. It improves blood circulation and increases nerve activity. Um, you can use this whenever for cold, um, soreness of the muscle, and low blood pressure, even for diabetes and cancer. Um, you can even use this when you are feeling weak or even indigestion. I didn't know, but now I know. So, um, for this, I'd like to have another volunteer. If anyone would like to try this. And don't worry, you're not getting too wet, nothing like that. <laughs> okay, so you can have a seat here. I'm going to show you how to make it first. Okay, so what you do is take some Epsom salt like this, um, just pour it in a bowl. Just do enough that enough for the body that you can keep coating on the, the salt and keep rubbing it. So I think maybe a little more. I think that's enough. Can you show us about how much you have in the bowl? Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now what you want to do is take some body oil and drizz, slowly drizzle it into the the bowl like this, just a little bit. What, what, what kind of oil is that? Okay. Okay, and then we take some water as well, very little bit, because you don't you want it to be a paste. You don't want it to be too runny. These are just. That's that's good. You can always add, but you cannot take away. Yeah. So exactly. So go a little at a time. Just mix it with your hand like this. It's looking a little dry. Yeah. Can you use peppermint for that too? Uh, you can. You could. But it's, yeah. You could. You can Absolutely. use any essential oil. We usually use lavender. And actually this oh, Epsom nice. salt has already lavender, but uh, we usually that it's calming and soothing for the for the skin for the for everything actually. You can show that yeah, yeah. if you want. So you can yeah. use the Hansen. You could use yeah, whatever. That's you what we use whatever. Whatever. Yeah. You could find that. <laughs> yeah, so this is what it looks like. You want to yeah. smell? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, and it's like almost like a slush. You can see. Yeah, it smells really good. <laughs> sugar it gets sticky and then uh, we don't like it we use the, the coarse salt so preferably a coarse salt but if you don't have anything else just by all means use the table salt okay so if you don't mind giving me your arm um, so then what would we do here is you don't have to rub too vigorously just take a little bit in your hand and just rub across your arm in little circles like so make sure you you uh, get all the areas that she wants done. How does it feel? It's good. <laughs> What's also good is that it makes your skin really smooth. <laughs> that's why. That's another reason why I like it so much, because it's 
it's just so like you feel so nice afterwards and it's it's you it's did great. it on the face in the class? No, I didn't get to do it. You get you can do it on your face, you can do it on your arms. I got to I did my legs and I was very happy with that. <laughs> Where would you do it if someone had cancer or diabetes? Well, it's not it's not it's just to bring the blood to the surface yeah. to get your circulation going. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I would not see that this is not a particular treatment for yeah, someone with cancer. Yeah, not particular, but it could help. Yeah, it could just help. Okay, I did bring the exercises. But that's what but I was going to ask very, about. You need to be very careful with patients with cancer because you're kind of massaging, and massage is not really a very good uh, treatment for people that have cancer. So. That's why we always are very careful before you do something that is a vigorous treatment. You always ask the doctor first if this is, you know, recommended. If it's just a contrast bath, no one has, you know, no indicate, no contraindications, then you can just do whatever you want. But for that, I would say rather say check with the doctor first. Yes. Always check with the doctor. Okay, the doctors. Just said Yes, and you just keep uh, you keep rubbing this. It's really important to, um, like I said, to keep the salt wet enough because if if it gets too dry, it could hurt the person, and you don't want to do it too hard either. Like you know, you don't want to do it too hard. So just be careful that you're not hurting them and that they feel relaxed and not stressed or in pain. So how does it feel? Are you feeling good? It's feeling a little smooth, which is good. And you can do this. How, how long did we do it? Oh, you can do this as long as you need to. As long you as can you rub want. it as, as soon as it's rubbed on your the part that you want to treat. Then you can finish. You can stop. If you want to go up to the arm, up to the shoulder, you can do even the whole body. You can stand in a hot foot bath because you get cold when you yeah. will do the hot the, the full body. You can yeah. stand with your feet in a hot foot bath and then do it in the shower yourself and you can do your whole body as, or let someone do it for you. Yeah, Your like, back will be very difficult to do yourself. So, yeah, like yeah. I said, it's good for cold. So if they have a fever or a cold, it's good to have them in the tub with hot water on the feet to do it when you're doing this. So. I was gonna ask, where would you rub for a cold? For a cold? Um, it depends, like, chest. yeah, Whatever. you could do the chest. If you have a chest congestion, you can do it. It's not, it's not a specific treatment for the cold. I would rather do a, what we are going to demonstrate, um, like the fomentations on the chest. This is more, I would say, a, a general not feeling so well, like a blah feeling, you know? You have like, oh, I don't really have the flu yet, but I don't feel really well myself. Then you can rub it wherever you want, actually. You can rub it on your arms, on your chest, you don't feel very well, and then you shower it off, and then you usually feel invigorated. So, uh, yeah. It says I'm indigestion. Just rub it over your skin. The what? Indigestion. Oh, yeah, you can use that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even know that until yeah, I read it. But it's, yeah, it's still better to do the fomentations or the contrast. Yeah, I would that do that. That brings up the indigestion. Yeah, this doesn't do really well. I mean, it helps a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I would do the fomentation first, and maybe if it's still, you know, if it's still happening, maybe you could try this. It's this brings more energy to your body. That's actually what it does. Yeah, stimulation. So if you really feel, I mean, not feel so good, then you just do this. And you can do it all over your body. Even your feet, only your feet. What about an Epsom salt bath? You can do that too. You can do that too. That's very helpful. That's very helpful. And that helps with the cold and whatever. Yeah, I had sore feet one day. I was walking, hiking, so I put my feet in like, big, like you know, this top. I really. <laughs> This is a big top. Oh. I didn't just do my ankles. I really, you know, up to my knees. I put full warm water and an Epsom salt and I would sit on a chair and like, oh, this is so relaxing. <laughs> and, really, and it stimulates your whole body then. So it's very good yes. to have so Epsom salt. How is your Epsom salt to the water? I don't know. To be you honest, just, I don't you know. You just, just add a little, little bit until acid. it becomes like a slurry, like a Yeah, but then if, no, if you do it I mean in the bath. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah.
usually tells you on the menu. Yeah. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah, okay. and usually, I think, like here, directions for soaking, for example, add one to two cups of Epsom salt on the warm running bath water to release it gentle. Uh, that's not so much. That's uh, on a whole bathtub full of water. A whole bathtub. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he uses about maybe. two to three cups for a whole bathtub. For a whole so, bathtub. Yeah, so, so I'd say to for, for one five gallon bucket, you would need like one cup or less. Yeah. Oh. yeah.